it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review on the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation and this is what it looks like. So I've been using this for slightly over a month or maybe a month and a lot of you guys saw my Insta stories and were requesting for me to do a review on it and I thought it's high time I actually film one. So I'm just going to share with you guys how the details of it, how much it costs and all that kind of stuff and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like on my skin like application wise and of course I'm gonna talk, talk you through some of the tips that I have um, to use this foundation and how to make it work and some notes that I have um, from my experience for the last one month. Before we get started on the video, it would be great if you subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And if you're interested in vlogs, I do have a vlog channel that I share with my husband and you can check it out in our description box below or in the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen. So let's now jump right into the review. First up, this is how the packaging looks like. It's very sleek and very compact and that's the reason why I wanted to try a powder foundation. I wanted to have something that's easy for me to put in my bag, easy to use to touch up with and whenever I remove my makeup and I want to reapply my makeup, it's just so much easier to have a powder foundation. So that's why I decided to get a powder foundation. Um, this retails for 72 Singapore dollars which is very pricey for a powder foundation and um, you know, I, that's the one gripe I have about it, it's very expensive. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got the powder here which is actually like removable and I hope that I can get a refillable like powder pan instead of getting the whole compact again. I'm not too sure about that but I can do a little bit of research. Google is your best friend. And over here we have the applicator. So here's the, I guess the special thing about this powder. I would say it's the applicator. Um, it is like the spongy, it's, it has the spongy side which is you know the typical sponge feeling and on the other side is this white color fluffy texture and these two areas actually do different things. I was told that the black side is supposed to you know provide you with higher coverage and the more fluffy white side is supposed to provide you with a less High, like, like a lesser coverage or more natural coverage finish. I usually use this side and my recommendation is to wash it quite often because once you use it a couple of times it gets the fluffiness goes away and that actually can affect the application of the foundation on your skin which is something that I noticed lah. On the Sephora app it says that this foundation is supposed to banish blemishes and it's a mattifying powder and the sales uh, or rather the beauty advisor for Makeup Forever when I purchased this told me that it's good for our weather which is very humid and hot and it also says that it's um you know uh it's breathable and it won't clog your skin so now enough of the information i'm going to zoom you guys in so that you can see how i apply the foundation and how it looks like um with and without the foundation yeah, so let's just zoom you guys right in. Okay, I just wanted to say that I do have redness on my skin. As you can see, I get very rosy over here. And this is the perfect time to showcase this foundation because I have like a, a, a pimple right here that's still red. And yeah, I just... Yesterday when I was using this foundation, I was totally like impressed because I had this was brighter than today and it just completely covered it up and even my colleagues couldn't even tell that I had a pimple over here yesterday. So like I said, um, I'm going to be using the, the fluffy side of the sponge and just take note okay like this is a hot tip for me and I think it's very important let your skincare and your primer everything sink in first before you apply this foundation why because when you immediately use this foundation after you put on your you know your skincare and everything right it's not dry enough to apply smoothly and what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be left with a cakey mess and you don't want that so my recommendation is to really let your skincare and your primer sink in first before applying this foundation so that you have like a dry-ish base and not a tacky base um, to apply the foundation so that you will get a smoother application. So I'm just going to quickly take this and take the foundation on my powder like that and I'm going to apply it onto my face. So I'm going to do this side first and I'm going to show you how I cover up this pimple. Thank you. 
On my forehead, I like to do tapping motions because on my forehead, I notice that I'm a bit drier here. So if I swipe it, it will accentuate um, my dry forehead. I don't know why my forehead is very dry, I really don't know. But yeah. So wait for it, huh? And it's gone. <laughs> So I really am very impressed with this. And for my under eyes, if I want to use this powder, I'll usually use the sponge side. And I'll just grab a little bit. And then I will just dab it under my eyes. And smooth out with the wet side. Just bring it on my neck a little bit. And if I want to cover up the pimple more, I'll just use the sponge side again and I'll just dab it like that. Ta-da! With regards to primers, try not to use super tacky primers. Like the Cover FX Gripping Primer, I love that primer for liquid foundation but for this foundation, it's a complete no, like avoid it at all costs because it's just going to bunch up and not make your skin look as smooth as it's supposed to. So right now I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face and my makeup and I'll be right back to do the wrap up. I'm back with the rest of my makeup and I'm going to share with you guys my final thoughts on this foundation and my review on it. So the first thing I want to say is I definitely love it. I enjoy using it. I like how easy it is. I like how fast it is and I just am very impressed by how much this powder covers up. Even though you are using the, you know, the, the side of the sponge which is supposed to be of a lighter coverage. I like that I have the option to build up or just have a light wash of, you know, foundation on my skin. And another thing is that this foundation is very long wearing. I have worn this foundation for 12 over hours when I went to work. I didn't touch up anything and I still look pretty good. The foundation didn't uh, sink into any of my smile lines which usually happens when I use um, liquid or cream foundations and this one just doesn't do anything like that. It's just, it just makes my skin look really good and even with or without a primer, it's very like impressive. It just smoothens out my skin very very well. Like I said, the downside of it, I feel just the only thing that I don't like about this foundation is the fact that it does cost a lot of money and because it's a powder foundation, you tend to just use up and you know, for the next thing you know, you will just hit pen. But for me, I really don't mind repurchasing it because I really enjoy it. And it's something that I think I will bring like to travel and it's easy for me to put in my handbag as well for touch-ups on the go or to reapply my makeup which is always very very great for me. That's actually pretty much it that I want to share with you guys with regards to this foundation. Everything else I've already shared when I was, you know, applying the foundation, like about, you know, letting our skincare sink in and stuff. So I'm not going to repeat that one more time. So just, you know, overall, I'm totally obsessed with the foundation and I definitely highly recommend it, especially if you're living in a very equatorial climate like Singapore where it's really humid and hot and suddenly it rains and you're inside aircon and then you're outside aircon and it just messes up everything. This just withstands a lot of things and I don't see any dry patches on my skin as well but if you would like, I usually do this but I just don't have it with me right now. I will usually spritz my face down with either Fix Plus or the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. Any one of them. Um, the chill one, the all-nighter one, this slick, whichever. 
I think either of one or either of those actually work really well. Um, but yeah, this is without any makeup setting spray and I think it really looks very good already. So that's it for my review on the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I hope you guys like it and found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. If you'd like to see more of day-to-day -day updates, you can follow me on Instagram at Tiara Duski. All of the links will be in the description box below. And if you're interested to watch more vlogs, I do have a channel where I put all of my vlogs there that I share with my husband. And those will be in the description box as well for your easy access. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. 